Hello friends, you are watching Arudire Plus, the professional CAD CAM solution provider. This channel provides basics of finite element analysis and computer-aided mechanical engineering design and analysis using CAD-related software. Let's get started. Hello friends, today I'll show transient fluid flow analysis through flow simulation using SOLIDWORKS. Here in this case, two different fluid with there. Actually, in a container, one fluid will be there and from the bottom part, another fluid will be injected and that will be mixed. And in this case, it is very important to know that fluid mixing is possible only when the liquids or fluids are in similar stages, right? So let's get started. First of all, we have to model the container, right? We are planning to model one cylindrical container. Inside that one, initially, it will be filled up with butane and from the bottom point, we have to inject oxygen at a certain rate okay so starting from sketch the central line sketch central line then rectangle will be required draw a rectangle without any dimension like cut the unwanted entity then let's provide smart dimension to this one. Let's this one be 100 millimeter. And this one will be equal to 20 millimeter. Let's point a relation that this two horizontal parts should be equal. Let's for the distance between this one and the central axis equal to 5 mm. A smart dimension, let's take the distance from central axis and this edge equal to 5 mm. Done. Next one, we can do one thing, we can provide some fillet over there. So, starting with fillet, select the lines. Let's take the fillet radius equal to 15 millimeter. 15 millimeter. And bottom part also it will be the same thing. Fillet is complete, so green check. Next one you can do one thing. We can offset the set this line with 2 mm so it is done green check next one we have to close the drawing so starting with lines and we to close it upper part is closed then we have to close the bottom most part also ok so drawing is ready so green check and exit from the sketch. Select the sketch again and features revolve. And it will be revolved with respect to the central axis, right? Our model is ready. Okay, green check. Right. Next one, while doing flow simulation, it's very important to uh, create a closed geometry, right? That means closed fluid flow will be generated. That's why we have to provide some kind of uh, leads at the top and the bottom entry also. So that we started from flow simulation tools. Create leads. For creating the leads only the surface to be selected. So we are starting the lead from the bottom surface first. So first lead is created at the face number 1. And we select the top surface also. Two leads have been created. Done. Next one, very important part is like throughout this container, we have to see how these fluid particles will be moving. So that's why we have to make this container transparent, right? So we'll select this object 
and make it transparent from outside also and from both inside also. Now the model is transparent for, from both outside and inside, right? It is ready for simulation. Now before starting simulation, you have to save this model. Let's save this one with the name of transient analysis. Is saved. Next to one, we have to create an environment for this flow simulation, and that environment can be created using wizard, right? Uh, let's provide the name of this project as transient fluid flow analysis. Name is provided. Next, we have to select the unit. Let's select the unit as SI unit. Next, it is an internal analysis so internal is clicked on next one is a time dependent phenomenon so select click on time dependent and let's we are considering this all we are considering this analysis time as four seconds and output time step that is equal to 0 0.1 second that means after each 0 0.1 second we will save the result all right next to select the liquids or fluids whatever may be let's select the gases as oxygen and butane as i told earlier butane and oxygen should be selected default wall thermal conditions and reference we don't know so let's skip that part next one very important concentrations that means much amount of different fluids will be mixed together Let's see that at the beginning itself from the inside the container only butane will be there. So initially the concentration of butane will be 100%, right? That's the one and no oxygen will be there at the beginning. Okay. Finish. Now, now computational domain is created. So what we have to do is before analysis we have to hide this computational domain let's hide it and next we have to apply boundary conditions before applying boundary conditions it is very important to uh, select the different surfaces while at which point we have to apply boundary conditions so in this case it is better to uh, take a segmented portion of this container in that way we can apply boundary condition in easier way so we can select this front plane by cutting symmetrically we are applying boundary conditions right now insert boundary conditions the inlet volume flow we want to provide that will be equal to 0 0.301 meter cube per second point triple not one meter cube per second and substance concentration we want to put volume fraction and it will be oxygen will be 100 percent that means we are injecting oxygen from outside and butane from outside will be zero we are injecting only oxygen from outside only right and now the entry point record where from we have to inject oxygen right that is from this point only select this point green check so first boundary condition is done next we have to apply another one that is pressure at the outlet should be equal to atmospheric pressure apply another boundary condition it will be pressure substance concentration again we have to change it volume fraction it will be oxygen will be from putting we will be putting injecting oxygen from outside only right so it will be 100 percent oxygen and butane will be zero as butane is already there inside the container now it is we have to select that location where we want to apply that boundary conditions 
that location is exit point here is the right quick green check all the boundary conditions have been applied perfectly right now we have to take back our original drawing that means complete continuous required okay boundary conditions are applied perfectly next one you have to select some goals lot of goals are available but, but in this case you want to see the behavior of fluids uh, that means the volume fraction at different times as it is time dependent phenomenon we want to see that at different times at 4 seconds 3 seconds 2 seconds and 1 second at different times how much amount will be the volume fraction of oxygen will be there but at the same time we can check how much how much volume fraction of butane will be there at different times so inside global goals and we will see volume for it okay green check next one we have to run this one started running this program while running this it is very important to see the solver window actually from the solver window we can visualize what actually is going on inside that means uh, the complete fluid flow behavior we can see visualize from this solver window let's dig into that one we want to see volume for it pressure etc we can see volume flow rate, pressure, temperature, anything you can see. So settings, we want to see, suppose, volume fraction of oxygen, right? Okay. We can see this one. We can change this image also. Let's change this image quality. Okay. So it is showing that at the entry, entry level volume fraction of oxygen equal to 100% as it is going inside and it is being mixed with butane the fraction of volume is changing right at different times so a lot of iterations are going on at different times volume fraction of oxygen is changing but at the same time volume fraction of butane is also changing it will go on continuously up to 4 seconds because this time dependent phenomena we have considered for only 4 seconds and after each 0.1 second, the results are, are being uh, saved. It will continue for some time. That means the volume fraction of oxygen is very slow, very low. Let's see after some time, after a certain time, it will be increasing. This is the volume fraction of oxygen, right? We can change it. Let's see the volume fraction of butane also. Yes, it is. Initially, volume fraction of butane was 100%. Now it is changing. It is decreasing. Now it is 0.9 and there is 99% butane is there inside that one. And 1% is oxygen. So at different times, this ratio will change actually. Our aim is to see after 4 seconds, how much volume fraction of oxygen will be there and how much volume fraction of butane will be there and later on we can optimize we can check the v rate of fluid velocity also velocity pressure etc let's see velocity it is showing that initially at the starting point velocity is very high there is 5.36 meter per second and again at the exit point also velocity is high and across the boundary velocity is zero that is following uh, that drag force is there at the boundary so velocity must be zero at the boundary level right you can see the pressure also how to see the pressure with the C settings pressure and temperature will see both right pressure let's see pressure I can see at the entry is little bit high and at the exit level it is coming almost near to atmosphere pressure as is given in the boundary condition let's see temperature also
temperature you can see not that much of change very little change is here that means initially temperature is little high but at the exit point temperature is low very small changes in the temperature again we will go back to our requirement that is volume fraction volume fraction of oxygen at different times right so it is going on we can see after 0.35 second volume fraction of oxygen is equal to 8 into 2 minus 6 is very less volume it will go up let's this solver window continues we'll see the results later on when it finishes we'll see the results okay right see the solver window right now it is already uh, 5340 numbers of iterations have been completed and by this time you can see volume fraction of oxygen is equal to 90 percent already 91 percent volume fraction let's uh, understand the situation what is happening so initially the container was full of butane and from the beginning at the bottom end we have injected oxygen at a rate of 0.301 meter cube per second and after uh, four seconds we have to see the volume fraction of oxygen and by the same time we have to see the volume fraction of butane also uh, right now at this point we can see uh, that time is equal to 3.95 seconds and at this moment the volume fraction of oxygen equal to 91.5 percent right so it is about to be finished at the end of this uh, simulation we will see the results it is about to be finished it is 3.98 seconds 0.1 second is remaining for completion of this simulation uh, it is finished right we can see the results like after four seconds the volume fraction of oxygen is equal to 91.74 percent right at the same time you can see the volume fraction of other things like let's close this all window we can see the results first of all we'll see the results from the cut plots insert cut plots You can see results in the form of conduce only. Let's see volume, pressure, etc. A lot of things can be checked. Velocity also. Let's see volume fraction of oxygen at the beginning. So it is showing that volume fraction at after four seconds is equal to 91.74%. And initially when it was injected is volume fraction was 100 percent this is one initially it was 100 percent because it was not mixed with butane when mixing with butane as it was completely filled up with butane so volume fraction of butane was reduced finally now see the volume fraction of butane also we'll check it volume fraction of butane okay it is showing the volume fraction of butane Finally, it is 0 0.0826, that means 8.26 percent butane. Maximum is filled up with oxygen only as it was injected from outside, right? This is a cut plot. Now, we can do, we can do one thing instead of uh, this uh, pattern, we can see the flow of this one in the form of we can see the flow. Let's clear and hide and let's play that one. This is the cut plot that is just one plane across the front plane, how it is moving actually. Right? Let's clear and hide. Now we'll see another thing like we'll see flow trajectories. Insert for flow trajectory. They show the behavior of fluid, it will this path of fluid it will show. But you see in the form of pipes only let's increase this density okay i have to click as that inside edge right select other so lead is selected when you see volume fraction of oxygen right is running now we'll see in the form of video flow trajectories clear and hide 
and then we will play it. You can see from the front plane, it will be better to see for the front plane. Some inclined trajectory you can see actually. From the front plane, it is seen with some inclined trajectory. Again, volume fraction, as I told you in the beginning, so volume fraction of oxygen equal to 91.74 after 4 seconds. And initially, its fraction is 100%, right? Now we can do analysis on a little bit, so we make it closed, clear, and hide. From the results, you can do one thing results load time moment that means we can see at different times how much fraction of volume volume fraction was there for butane and oxygen this is four seconds we can check at different times maybe let's we see after three seconds right after three seconds how much volume fraction of oxygen was there right this is after three seconds we have to see cut plot one play so it was showing that after three seconds it was 16 percent was there volume fraction of butane that means volume fraction of oxygen was 84 percent you can say volume fraction of oxygen after three seconds volume fraction of oxygen was 83 bytes percent right cut plot clear and hide so this we can check at different times how much was the volume fraction of oxygen and volume fraction of butane and uh, based on that we can optimize these things like uh, for what time it will be completely filled up that is volume fraction of oxygen will be 100% at what time it will be you can check it check, check it by the same time we can do another kind of like optimization uh, like checking the we considering the inlet flow rate at what flow rate to 4 seconds uh, it will be filled up with certain percentage of our requirement right now first last of all we'll see the particle studies in particle studies we want to see uh, we have to inj inject this oxygen from the beginning and how this will flow throughout this passage we have to inject oxygen from the bottom and see the behavior or this passage of these fluid particles inside this one the flow of fluid particles inside this one we want to check. Green check. Then particle study should be done. Finally, we have to inject. Number one should be played. It is showing that some trajectories here, it is following some curved path, right? If you see from the front plane. This is the flow path of the oxygen particles, massless particles of oxygen is flowing throughout this cylinder, right? This is all about our transient analysis of fluid flow mixing. Yeah, in this case, what we learned that inside the container initially, butane was filled up and from the bottom we injected oxygen at a rate of 0.301 meter cube per second. And after four seconds, we found that 91% of uh, oxygen was filled up and 9% of butane was there inside the container right so after this one we can optimize this also like at what rate if we mix oxygen in such a way that after four seconds it will be 100% filled up that can be done also right so thank you so much for watching this video if you like please subscribe and share and if you have any kind of doubts please write to me thank you so much for watching this video Thank you again. Bye.